Welcome back to Harbor. Once again, Donald Trump dodged the question about President Obama's birthplace, this time on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. It was the latest opportunity for Trump to finally put the issue to rest, and Trump whiffed. Let's watch. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you up a big, fat meatball for you to hit out of the park okay, right now. I like okay, it. Good. This is the last time you ever have to address this question if you hit the ball. Okay? Go ahead. Big old, there's like sauce all over my hands, this meatball is so big, okay? I, I, I want to hear this one. Barack Obama, born in the United States. Let me just what is he? I'll, I'll it's a meatball! I know. It's Go hanging ahead. out there! Right, right there! Come on! I don't hear anything. And you want to know? I don't talk about it anymore. You don't talk, I talk about, about it? I talk about jobs. I talk about our veterans being horribly treated. I just don't discuss it You know anymore. that meatball People is throw. now being dragged know, down the steps of the subway by a rat. But right. I don't. You're right. You're right. You missed the meatball. I but Trump can't escape the fact that he has been the most vocal champion of the birther movement all along. Here's how he fueled the ridiculous conspiracy theory back in 2011. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? And you know what? I wish he would. Because I think it's a terrible pal that's hanging over him. He should show his birth certificate. If he has a birth certificate, he should release it. All I want to do is see this guy's birth certificate. The reason I have a little doubt, just a little, is because he grew up and nobody knew him. Nobody ever comes forward. Nobody knows who he is until later in his life. It's very strange. If he weren't lying, why wouldn't he just solve it? And I, w I wish he would, because... If he doesn't, it's one of the greatest scams in the history of politics and in the history period. Well, now as the front runner for the Republican nomination, Trump's trying to avoid the issue as much as he can. And this birther business lends credence to a recent caricature I saw of Trump by former New York Times illustrator Cindy Wick. The message, even clowns can't stand Donald Trump. I'm joined right now by the roundtable. Kathleen Parker is a syndicated columnist with the Washington Post. Matt Schlapp is a Republican strategist. And of course, Michelle Bernard is president of the Bernard Center. Still president, eh? Good, good work in that re-election campaign. Uh, Thank you. No, I know it's a hard fight. Uh, let me let me start with you. I, everybody knows my position. I find this a revolting, disgusting uh, disgrace that somebody still running for president who won't accept the legitimacy of someone who is obviously a part of America, whose only difference from Donald Trump is his color of his skin. He's as American as anybody could be. And this nonsense that he's perpetrating, I can't judge anyone's soul, but I can say who he's playing to. He's playing to the racist. I agree with that, Chris, and I think, you know, it's also ridiculous. You didn't mention that, but, you know, he has... Not for the 35% who but, believe him and the 25% well, of his supporters who think he might be right. No, okay, 60%. so he, he's clearly playing to those people. Um, and, but I think he also recognizes that it's ridiculous, and he doesn't want to have to be saddled with it anymore. This is why he's trying to change the subject. Um, but I agree why with you. Why does he admit he's wrong? Well, why doesn't he? Why does he just say he look? He doesn't admit he's wrong on anything. Yeah, well. He backtracks and he changes the, he changes the subject. That's yeah, what but he does. Gonna... But the argument is so absurd because he's saying that, that Barack Obama's mother is not his mother because if it is his mother, he'd be an American citizen, natural born, just like Ted Cruz. Well, exactly. So he's, and, he's and, arguing the inarguable. He will not he will not admit that he's wrong because it's a wink wink and a nod to the racist to say, you know what I mean. You know yeah. he's really a, a Muslim. You know he's you know, born in Kenya, it, it, or he, Borneo, or wherever the hell wherever it says, he wants to as say. As long as it's somewhere where people are dark and they're not really American, and therefore you don't have to put them on the list of American presidents when you grow up, and your kids won't have to look at it. Look, he won't really be there because in our hearts, he's not really president. He is pandering to the lowest life form that we have existing in the United States today. It is horrific. It is absolutely embarrassing, and he's pandering, you know, quite frankly, to all of the people in all of the states that have these "show me your paper" immigration laws all over the country. Okay. I'd like to see somebody walk up to Donald Trump and say, show me your well, let me Let me ask you this, Matt, you know, the party. Suppose he just said to Mark, you know, I, I played around with that issue. I thought about it. I've given some thought. Yeah. You know, it's not right for me to keep talking like that. I'm going to drop it. Yeah, I think that'd be, it would clearly be the right thing to do. But what happened to his base? He's got this base not based on this question. You think they wouldn't deserve Absolutely. it if he went clean on this? Chris, let me tell you, he, the reason why he keeps leading his, in polls is not because he's questioning the president's birth location. It's because he is appealing to people that are so disgusted in, in, about Washington, conservatives who feel like the Supreme Court, Congress, Obama is out of control. That is the reason why for his he, support. It he, is not a okay, racial... One no, challenge it's about, it's, he started on this issue. This yeah. was his a business when it got him into politics. This is why we ever talked about and it. And that's who's the Kathleen, him. that's what he's been selling. I disagree with you. He's been selling this crap since day one. It's his, it's his thing. It's You're his not, take back. 
got in. America. That's how he got in the club, and the club is his. And age. justify the means. Say the president's not the president. Say he's not an American. And now he doesn't have to say it anymore. And and I think your suggestion is the only one that's available. Why do people now? let him do phony interviews? Because it's a phony interview. Well, if you sit there and say, not well, let's talk about the price of potatoes. They're then. not going to do it anymore. Fox has said they're not going to interview him anymore because he won't he, deal substantively he call, with issues. He, so, you think Fox will stick to that? I think they might. No. I mean, but of course he's saying now he's fired Fox, but he's not going to talk to anybody. He calls in and they put him on. And the reason why he's getting so much coverage is because he can used to call in. It happens night after night, day after day. I guess so the, up. the man yeah. walks CNN. around <laughs> talking about a silent America, make America great again, calls Mexicans rapists. He, he is he not, going to, rapists. He he is not, not. going to apologize about what he's saying. Okay, about look, the I'm sticking to one issue. He's apologize the United States Latino. of America is anybody, and the idea of saying he's not based on no information is appealing to racism. And by the way, anybody does, who asks him the second question after he dodges this one shouldn't be in the business. Because it's not it's not okay. I He's got to answer the question. The round table, by the way, is staying out with us right now. And up next, look at the numbers now. Vice President Joe Biden surged in a new poll. But can his popularity keep rising if he actually jumps rates? That's the old Ted Kennedy question. Once you're in, it gets hotter.